Welcome back to the Basement Yard. My name is Joe Santagato. I'm sitting here joined by my coat host. You know him as the... Did I say coat host? Yeah. Yeah, he hosts all my coats. I hold his coats. Um, Daddy. Diabetic Dan. Diabetic Daddy. The people's champ. Whoa. I, I, you just pooped? A little. Pooped your pants? A little. Did you say a whittle? Were you one of those little kids that no. had that? Oh, I have a whittle thing in my pants. No. <laughs> You no. were one of those But kids? I did hear Ariana Grande talks like that as an adult. No way. Yeah, she baby talks. Yeah. Yeah, that's disgusting. Like, do, like, why do kids talk like that? Because they're fucking stupid. <laughs> kids are fucking idiots. Yeah. I don't understand <laughs> what's the matter with, with, with everything. She's like, if you can speak, <laughs> say the word. Yeah. I shouldn't be saying this. My sister's going to kill me. She's I a know. speech pathologist. Mythologist? Pathologist? Oh, I thought you said she's a speech mythologist. Yeah, she, I was like, it's just a myth. She, she, speaks, a myth? <laughs> she speaks methodical languages. You know what I mean? No, I'm just joking. Speaks but, like the language of Zeus. Yeah, I did hear that Ariana Grande does that. Oh, do we do like a little baby? I'm, I'm tired. Oh, I'm Mimi Sheepy. Yeah, I'd be like, ew. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. Chill the fuck out. It's gross. Sheepy Mimi. Uh, me and Danny went to breakfast. <laughs> me and Danny went to breakfast this morning. Uh, he had a Greek salad. What? So bad about that? That is a lot of breakfast food. Well, I'm sorry. Not all of us can enjoy the finer things in life like you, Skinny Boy McJohnson. Excuse me? Yeah. yeah. Skinny Boy McJohnson? Yes. That's what you came up with? Yes, yeah, Skinny Boy Jones. Are you, you going to go with that or you want to like call phone a friend or something? I can say whatever I want. Fine. Thin Boy. Thin Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I had some uh, French toast. Pretty good. Pretty good. The Thin Man. You still some, still on this? Need some oil, Thin Man. Need some oil? I don't know, like the Tin Man. Didn't he need oil? Oh, oh. He didn't eat the oil. He put it on his like joints. He was like, gup, 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 gup. no, he didn't drink it. No, but that's the sound it made. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Why is everyone drinking? That's like a drinking. Go noise. go go go! I was like, I've never heard anyone drink like this. Other than fucking Goofy. Yeah, it's true. That's true. But yeah, man, I'm just, you know... Uh... Yeah, let me ask you a question real quick. So okay. I, I, had a, we were in a, I was in a little bit of a pickle this morning with the French toast and the pancakes. Yeah. If you had to pick one of those uh, in a non-diabetic realm, mm. where are you going? I'm going pancakes. Really? Yeah. 100. Why? Because pancakes, it's like... So I made the wrong decision. No. It's not necessarily made the wrong decision, but in this case, you did. Here's why. That... <laughs> Here's why. I'm not saying you made the wrong decision, but you did. No, here's why. Because I like putting syrup on pancakes and watching it just fucking splash all the way down the sides. It's like a little fucking moist mountain. You know uh-huh, what I'm saying? Yeah. You start splashing that thing. Blah! How hard are you throwing this syrup on you? It depends what you're into. Okay. You also use no butter today, but we'll get into that. Yeah, I'm not a butter on my shit. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a big L right there. Yeah, bro. I don't butter my shit. You have to butter your shit. I butter my buns. The thing, yeah. And like I butter my bread. Oh, I thought you were, I thought you were making a butt joke. No, I don't butter my buns. Ew. I like co- I thought you meant like cocoa butter on your butt. You cocoa butter your ass? Fuck yeah. Do you really? Yeah, rub cocoa butter all Let over this Let me feel that butt. fucking ass cheek right now. It's probably soft as god. Yeah, it is. It's a really soft ass. You have a soft ass? Yeah, but it's all covered in hair, isn't it? No, no, no. I don't have a hairy ass cheeks. I have hairy butt crack. You you don't have a hairy Ass cheeks? No, no, no. My butt cheeks aren't hairy like that, bro. All right. I'll show you later. I just don't want to get demonetized. Me neither. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But back to your pancakes and French toast. French toast, the only thing that sucks about French toast is that you got to lift. I mean, uh, about pancakes. That sucks about pancakes is that you got to lift up each pancake and put butter in the pancake. I did so, it's so much work to have a it's fucking a, pancake. It's a lot. It's they, a lot. When they bring out that this is why I went French toast. They brought out, because I, I saw she brought someone else pancakes, and I'm like, look at that. It's a beautiful stack. And they do a really good job. I love pancakes. They do a good job yeah. on pancakes. But they stack them up. So you put syrup on that. You only have syrup on one pancake. Mm, yeah. Unless yeah. I'm like, you know, now I'm, now I'm doing brickwork. I got to take this off, put the concrete, take the next level. I, 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 you they know do, what I'm saying? And then you do eat them faster because you are eating four pancakes at once. At one time. Yeah. It's kind of gross. But I like the grossness. I embrace the gross. I just feel like French toast is I more eat versatile. The G. You what? E the G. E the G. Embrace the gross. Oh. You uh, know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just feel like... You French... ate your... First of all, Joe ate his French toast faster than I've ever seen someone eat. He looked like a starving dog. 
That's the fastest I've ever seen you eat. And it was gross, too. It was a gross eat? Yeah, you had syrup all over your chin, remember? You were <laughs> disgusting, dude. This guy had syrup. He was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, dude, you're an adult, and you have a goatee full of syrup. A goatee? Chill, I don't have a goatee. Well, this is part of your beard. It's called a goatee, right? Well, I know. I think I just like a goatee is like if you shave all the sides and you stone cold it. You know what I'm saying? Goatee. Yeah. Beard. Beard. It's so, just in, it's so, in your beard. So in your chin. In my ch- On my chin. On your chin. Right. Sorry. Don't fuck that up. I'm sorry. I would never rock a goat. How many pieces of French toast did they give you? Three. See, that's a good and number. I fucking slammed them. That's a, that's a good number of FTs. Uh, I would say anything more than three. Get a little gross. Yeah, it's a lot of bread. I could easily punch four, though. Oh, my God. Right yeah. in this mouth hole. Yeah, Easy. yeah. Easily. But the I could have f- ate, like, three more, to be honest with you. But you were there. Yeah. Yeah. I felt judged. No, you don't have to feel judged around me. You see me eat gross things. Yeah. You know? But why no butter, though? I don't know. It's just like another layer of work that I'm not, you know, willing to commit to. He, he, this is what he did with his butter. He took the butter, which was in one of those, you know, when you fill ketchup at, like, baseball games? It's ketchup, but let's move forward. Ketchup. Why did you catch up just now? Catch up. What why did I you? Why, why the fuck did you catch up? Catch. Listen. Oh my god. I can't I'm believe. Saying catch. I can't believe you just did that. What? I honestly can't believe you did that. What do you want me to do? Did you? You catched up. I'm sorry. You catched up. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, the joke about. Catch it was up. like that was twenty fifth or forty years ago. You're deflecting. You've been catching for that long? Joseph, Catch up? Joseph, you're deflecting. You're deflecting. I'm not deflecting. You're deflecting your I'll take responsibility research. for the fucking butter shit, yeah. but you just catched up. All right. Catch up. Thank you. Okay. C- catch up. Yes. K-E-T. Chup. <laughs> C-H-U-P. Yeah. Spell Dijon mustard. D-I-J-O-N. Mustard. <laughs> Right? Yeah, but mustard's also a word. But but the butter, he took the little thing that holds ketchup, you know, the little paper, little bowls. You know, that you could go and you push it. It's made out of little paper. They hold ketchup at, like, baseball games. It's what? It's like a paper little bowl. That wasn't what it was. It's like a paper little saucer. It was plastic. You weren't paying attention to the materials, but you had. All right. So he just <laughs> grabs it, squeezes enough that it comes out, and just turns it over on his plate and just goes and leaves it there. Like a little butter mountain. Why'd you do that? I don't know. I was playing with my food like a child. And we were also... I there. did I did rub some butter on one of the pieces, though. And I don't know if you caught that. But in the beginning, I, I put it on one piece. Which I honestly, as I was doing it, I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this because I don't do this. Were you like that as a kid? You are like, no butter. I won't refuse butter. Who the fuck refuses butter? You like, know what's weird? Butter-flavored syrup. Uh, what? What? They're syrup. Oh, oh, like butters, Mrs. Buttersworth. Yeah, it's like butter, it butter infused syrup. That's a little heavy for me, but yeah, it's, yeah, it's bad. You know what? You what's a good thing you do? You take syrup and butter, and you fucking just like stir it up, and it's like butterscotch. I've never done that. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Have you ever read like the calories and the sh- grams of sugar that are in syrup? Do oh. you say syrup or syrup? I don't say syrup because I'm not an old woman. Yeah, syrup, syrup. Yeah, it's a syrup. Syrup. Cough syrup. Yes. Yes. Would you like some syrup? Would I'd you like, like you to some... get out of the fucking <laughs> kitchen, Grandma. <laughs> no, but I don't understand. Where's this this thing start with butter? What do you mean? And also, where do you... I just don't... I like butter, dude. I'll put butter on shit. You okay. know what I'm saying? But I just don't put it on my pancakes and French toast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pancakes, French toast. Where do you rank them? You had French toast today. Um, or waffle? No, I hate waffle because then you got because the butter. Here's why. You just it's, say you hate waffle because and you and you catched up before. It's it's. You're I hate sk- waffle. You are skating on thin breakfast ice. I know, but hear me out. The reason I hate waffle is because the butter sometimes doesn't get fully distributed within the holes. Oh, we're talking Belgian. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I just don't like how it's like. Oh, I want some butter in this hole, but I can't get it. And now I don't want to use crazy amounts of butter. Yeah. You know? You got to try. Not into it. You got to try and fill every hole. Yeah. Absolutely. Plug them all up. (sighs) Fucking shocker that fucking waff. Whoa. Shock that waff? Shock that waff? Shock that waff. (laughs) No, but I'm putting pancakes, 
French toast waffles, and waffles is like way third. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm. You know what? You also ate your bacon, disgusting, like a snake. <laughs> I ate bacon like a snake. Yeah, you were just like. What the fuck are you doing? You like you like you know how a snake doesn't chew. Okay. And they just I, like, I was clearly chewing. You didn't. You kind of just plugged it down your. I didn't suck bacon down my throat like a fucking serpent. Uh, you kind of did. I didn't. I did not do such things. You know what's weird? Your what? Honor, I did not do <laughs> it. I was just, you know what I did? It was probably like spaghetti is what I did, okay? So I put the end in my mouth and I kind of just like... Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, and walked it in. But I, I, you know, it got escorted inside the back. That's a gross way to eat bacon, though. Uh, it's not like your first <laughs> choice, but I definitely, you, you know... definitely like moused it a little bit, like... I listen. I didn't have a whole lot of time. I hear you. So I had to just get that in there. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you gotta, but I didn't suck the bacon down. I think you sucked that bake. I didn't suck the bake. Yeah, a little bit, a little no. bit. And then another weird thing that you did too is there, you know, when you sit in the diner and there's a little, like the little mini jukebox selection thing. <laughs> God. So, I guess let's say there's a total of eight pages, <laughs> and five pages were flipped. Joe had to flip it so they were evenly four and four on each side. <laughs> what was that about? Uh, I don't know. I did mess it up, though, just to show you, like, I'm not, like, crazy. Yeah, but you did that on purpose. Well, I did it. Yeah, I did it so, so you didn't think, like, if you flipped a page, I'd be like, oh, come on, man. And I had to put it back. Like, I was I, just like, whatever. I was afraid to touch it after that. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. So you have. I'm a weird guy. I have weird stuff. You're weird, and but like you're weird, like a normal person weird. Like I wouldn't claim you as a weird person. All right, fine. What do I gotta do? I sucked bacon, apparently. No, that's not weird. You, it would be weirder if you cut bacon. Ew, who the what? fuck cuts bacon? There's people out there cutting bacon, dude. People who about yo, if you cut There's bacon, people out there cutting bacon, one hundred percent, like cutting it in little pieces, like fucking weirdos. You're fucking weird. God, you disgusting fucking freaks. Yeah. Listen, whoever cuts pizza, or does this thing, they take their pizza and just hold it up and let the grease drip off. What? Go get a different food then. What's your What's your thoughts about the paper towel dab? On a pizza? paper towel dab. You've seen it. That is disgusting. If you are dabbing paper towel on your pizza, they're like, oh, it's got to soak up some of the grease. Like you're fucking putting on a temporary tattoo on a five-year-old. Get the fuck out of the pizzeria. Go get a salad, you piece of shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm sick of this. Yo, I, yo, people, oh my God. And then you have some people who dab and cut with fork and knife. You're not allowed to have pizza. How's that? You are not, you are banned from pizza. Yeah, stay away you from it. You sick fucks. When's the last time you had pizza? Um, not that long ago, actually. Are you a plain cheese guy or a pep guy? Pep guy. You're a pep guy. Yeah. I like. But I'm, I'm, I like a, I'm a penny a la vodka slice guy. Oh, jeez, that's a heavy slice. Oh, that's a big old meal that's for the big boy. Old baby. Well, I'll, like I'll hold that for like days where, you know, this is gonna sound insane, but you know, whatever. You'll People... hold it for days when no, you no, have no. fucking hostage pizza. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm saying like I'll save it for certain days. Like if I've been wor- oh, if I okay, worked right, out right, like right. really well last week and then yesterday I forgot to eat until four yeah I know that sounds nuts but I do that all the time yeah I forget to eat until like five o'clock and then I'm like oh shit like I'm not even like even hungry at that point like I was starving at one point and then my body's like no nah, I forget it and then we're just like normal but I'm like oh fuck I haven't eaten like those days I'll order like a penny out of vodka slice and like a thing of like twelve wings get dirty fuck and yeah. yeah and then yeah, just yeah. be up all night like scared and crying a little bit yeah like yeah. sweating out fucking hot sauce yeah just like not even really like not even like oh my god i got a shit so bad just like laying in bed like what did i do <laughs> the you worst the, you know what i hate too and I'm, I'm sure there's a scientific reason maybe you know it is like have you ever been starving and you're like dude i could eat so much mm-hmm. and then like after four bites you're like i'm not hungry anymore so I don't have the real answer, but I'll tell you mine. So I think, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, right? I do, I do, I do. And it's like, like, damn, dude, I was about to like show out and eat mad food, yeah. like be a beast, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. Yeah. But I feel like, at least for me, when I get really hungry, I feel like my stomach fills up with air. Mm. I don't That's know what true. that is. I don't know what that is, but it feels like I, I, I'm filled up with air. So I, I think when I eat food, it like pushes, it like compacts the air and gives me like a stomach ache, so I don't want to eat anymore. Yeah. And I guess it gives you the idea that you're full. 
And this is all bullshit. I don't know if it's right. <laughs> it's just like is, what I think. There is the miracle of the mid-meal burp, though. Yeah, I can't burp. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't yeah. release the Kraken at all. No, I mean, I, I release stuff out the back Kraken. Yeah, you fart. You fart more than I think anybody I know. I mean, I'm around you more than anybody I know, but, like, I've been around some big-time farters, heavyweight oh, hitters. You I, know what I'm saying? A1 blue chip fart recruits. You're blowing them out of the water straight yeah. out of high school into the league. I've been I've been known to blow it up. I've yeah. been known to do that. It definitely gets windy in my apartment sometimes, but your farts fucking stink too. Dude. Not all the time. I mean, if I have protein, like we're gonna have some we're gonna have some trouble. Yeah, you have dense farts. Like I've never heard a weak fart come out of that ass. No, no, no. Yeah, no. I got a yeah. I got a system. I got a system. Yeah. I got a system. And you fart a lot, like while your legs are up. Like, when you're, like, in the studio, your feet will be up on something, and you'll mm-hmm. be farting. Well, that's prime farting position. Yeah. Like, you, you you don't really hide it under your ass. You expose your ass, and you just let that fucking fart fire out of there. Yeah, I can't fart with, like, my feet, like, at ease like a soldier. Have you ever farted on a girl? On? Yeah, like, on her head. Or oh, something. yeah. Probably. I've farted on Shannon numerous times. Right. You got you got to fart on people from time to time. Yeah, I farted. Yeah. On, I farted on my sister. You have no idea how many times. Is that true? If you fart on a pillow, you yeah, can pink give eye? someone pink eye. I mean, if you got the dirtiest ass ever and you like spray farted like a. Oh, those are the worst. Yeah, those yeah, are the bad. Little like Gatling gun ones. Yeah, like, and you're like, <laughs> I gotta go home yeah. now. Yeah. Because there's there's a trouble here. Yeah. I'm gonna get a beer. It's fine. But no, but I need I need a beer. It's fine. Entertain the masses. Ratatou, scrubbity dum. Bum, 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 scrubbity dum. Bum, bum, scrubbity dum. Bum, dum, bubbity bum. My dad doesn't love me as much as he loves my other brothers. <laughs> oh, God. I'll tell you what. Uh, you know what I just noticed? Oh, you didn't you didn't rank pa- fucking pancakes and French toast and shit. Can you make sure I'm focused over here? Yeah. Cause I don't know, it's on autofocus and like I don't really trust that bullshit. It's all fucking like, yeah. Get real close in there. Yeah, get real close. Put your face in the screen. Put your face in. The- <laughs> no, now it's focused on you. No, no, you're. Good, Am I good? Am I good? Dude, you're so good. I'm so good. Yeah, you're so folk. Oh, sick. So you're queer as folk. I'm folked up. Remember that? Remember that show? No. It was like a. Sh- it was like Sex and the City, but for gay guys. Queer as fuck? No, it was queer as folk. Oh, folk. I was like, how can they put that on TV? No, it was on Showtime. <sighs> Said I wasn't going to do this. But <laughs> I mean... I'll tell you this. Yeah. Tell me which fucking thing is better, goddammit. Which Pancakes, one? Pancakes, French toast, or goddamn waffles. Oh, okay. I'll go... Uh, You're yelling. French toast. Pause. Waffle pank. Whoa! Get the front door closed, sir. <laughs> get, your, get your fucking... Front door cleaned. Yeah. I'm gonna see the thing with pancakes is is uh what's that expression? <laughs> Get your front door cleaned. Have someone come here and fix this. I mess. never understood like I'll clean your clock. <laughs> I'll knock your block off. I'll knock your block off. I'm like, yo, what did that mean, man? You gotta do fucking maintenance around my house. Yeah, what's going on? You a plumber? Yeah, I have a block on me. <laughs> I'm gonna knock your socks off. It's like, and I socked him in the eye. It's like, what? You put a sock in his eye, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Why are pancakes there, you sick fucking freak? Because pancakes, sick fucking freak, <laughs> because pancakes eventually get old, like halfway through the cake. Oh, my God, you're such a dumb idiot. I'm not a fucking dumb idiot, because listen, you dumb bitch. When they bring <laughs> out, well, usually when you go to diners, they're like, oh, y'all, just go ham with the fucking pancakes. And no. they make giant pancakes. Okay, do you like... The pancakes that have the crispy circle around the end, like I like some crisp. You like the crisp on the end. You don't yeah. like those flat, disgusting things. No, and those I hate. Like they're flat like flat jacks. They're, they're very light and like they look like a fucking pizza. Like some Italian guy was making the pancakes yeah, back yeah. there. I don't like flat jacks. No. I don't like lumberjack pancakes. <laughs> Yeah, spit it out. Spit it out. Let it come out of you. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hold it. Yeah. Just let you get your bladder. The way way you just said that. You know what I'm talking about, though? Those lumberjack cakes. What? Why? 
don't know. I'm just feeling it. Oh my god, that's so funny. You know, lumberjack cakes. My ears are sweating. See the circle on the table? You guys can't see it, but like <sighs> when they give you lumberjack cakes like this. Oh my god, dude. And they give you four of those. I'm like, this is a lot of lot of lot of cake. A lot of fucking cake. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's and that's and my is, issue is, with is pancake. Is it technically a cake? I don't know. It's got cake in the name. It's got to be a cake. Stack and cake. Yeah. All right. So you tell me your ideal. Pancake size. You ready? Sure. Let's start big with the lumberjacks. Okay, that is ridiculous. I could, no one could eat that. But you know, sometimes you go to a diner and it's like, oh, jeez, man, That's what are a, you doing back there, Louise? You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know? Okay. Tell me when to stop. Yeah, slow it up. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. Well, now I, now I lost sight of the other end. All right, here we go. You got it? Move your fucking hands. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, make it smaller. Make it smaller. I feel like David Blaine. Make it smaller. Are you watching? These are huge, dude. Are you watching? Smaller. 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 Keep going. That's good. This right here? That's a good pancake. Uh, but like a bunch of those. For the people? I'm trying to get out of the way. That's a, that's a pancake. That's a good pancake. That's a good pancake size. That's a good pancake size. Yeah. Now, how many of these pancakes can you thrust? Oh, like mouth? five, six. Okay. So what makes that? That's about the size, same size of a piece of bread. Do you like the way the bread absorbs the syrup? <laughs> Is that what get, takes you to the next level? Do you like the way that it gets crispy on the sides? Do you like crust? Do you not like crust? What is your what's your deal? What takes you to the pinnacle and puts you over the top? What puts French toast over the top? Because uh, I've never had too much French toast. Like if I go to a diner, I order French toast. I'm finishing that bitch. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times I go to diners and I get pancakes and they they just fucking. <laughs> To give me a fucking 10,000 calories worth of pancakes that I can't finish. I put it in this little twink body. Yeah. You know what I mean? I can't handle that much cake. So I need to just chill. What about like lumberjack cakes or pancakes? Do you have to have a meat come with it? Or can you just eat straight cake? I mean. I, I usually like a sausage, like a breakfast sausage or, 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 or a bacon. I like a bacon. To go alongside. I like a bacon. Yeah. I are could you, use. It. I got a bacon this morning. Are you an orange juice guy? I like orange juice as well. Only at breakfast. Well, yeah. Well, no. Or after ever... athletic events. Wait a second. Yeah. After athletic events, you'll come home and drink Tropicana fucking juice. No. <laughs> no. Uh, That's but always orange juice. Orange juice gives you like a, a like a immediate jolt of energy. Because of vitamin C. Well, I don't know Sugar, which one's probably. in there, but there's something in there. It's no, vitamin C. Yeah, like right. at, during football in high school, at halftime, they would give us oranges and shit. Yeah, you, an actual orange, I get. Yeah, I'm not going to drink Tropicana. That's what I'm saying. I'll eat an orange after, yeah. Well, I think the, they have a The diner over here actually has like a real squeezer that it's like straight up from an orange, like juice. That's pretty cool. It's expensive. Yeah. But it's a machine that we should buy. Yeah, yeah, we should buy that. Mm. Start sucking down organic juice. Hell yeah. Oh. Tangerines? I've never had tangerine juice. Is a tangerine an orange? Yes. Is that the one? It's it's. What are those? Clementines. What are those? Tangerines. Oranges. What about? They're oranges. What about nectarines? Orange. Okay. What about those ones that are like they have like a like a butthole? Oh, like a like a belly button? Yeah, they have like a butthole orange. What is that? I think that's just an orange. No, that has another layer on it. It has an actual inside of it is an orange. There's a butthole on that orange. Yeah. What is that? It's just like part of the orange. It's like the umbilical cord of the orange. I don't quote me on that, but. I believe you. Why? Well, that's honestly what I think. You swayed me. Boom. You swayed me. But I will say this. Remember late at night and for some reason you wouldn't drink water when you went to the fridge? You would drink juice? You want to hear something fucking and disgusting? Like, that lining on your mouth be like, <coughs> I used to drink milk at night. That's fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's not great. I used to drink milk all dude, the time. Dude, your mouth must have been gross. Do you know? I used to get home from the park like five hours of playing basketball, come home, go right to the gallon of milk and chug it. And not shower? What? Would you go to sleep? Were you one of those stinky, dirty, <laughs> no. disgusting kids? No, my parents would threaten me if I didn't shower. Were you like, because so. there's always a kid in your neighborhood that has like dirt on his face all the time. Hold on, let me ask you a question. 
Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? There's always like a dirty kid in your neighborhood just so full of dirt. What is this, Charlie Brown? Yeah, you, pig pen. You have a pig pen kid. There was one kid that I went to middle school with. I mean, I had some people who so, smelled like shit. He was so dirty. He was a dirty boy. Yeah, and his pants were too small. I hate when pants are tiny. Yeah, and I was just like, yo, man, like, you, you're... Take a, size up, man. Take a bath, dude. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Listen, you, you take a shower is more like yeah. a, a bath is kind of gross as well. Yeah, let somebody wash you down. I'll help you out. Yeah, squeegee him. Yeah. No, but uh, did you ever lie about when you were a child, like very young, mm-hmm. right? And your parents are like, oh, you take a shower or whatever. Did you ever be like, oh, I don't want to take a shower and like cry about it? Uh, I didn't cry about it. I was more mischievous. I would actually wet my hair. This is what I was going to ask you. Did you ever do some like weird ass shit? Yeah, hell yeah. And like for no reason. Yeah. Why did we do that? Because we were just mischievous little badger boys. Dude. <laughs> Dude, when I was a kid, for some reason, when my parents would like, go upstairs and shower, sometimes I'd go up there and like run the water and not get in. Yeah. I'm there. I, Why didn't I do it? I literally would just watch, like get my hair wet. Get naked, put a towel around me because I was very sh- small, you know, like a towel would wrap like a kid up. Completely around you. And then I'd just be like, all right, like I'm going to go get dressed and be like, okay. And I'd be like, fucking dumb assholes. I didn't shower, you dumb bitch. Yeah. How weird is that? Or I'd fake that I, that, or I, or I wouldn't use soap. Showering. I'd get in the shower, be wet, and then just get out. And then, and then my parents used to be like, did you use soap? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Let me smell you. Yes. Yeah, my mom used to say that too. I'm so glad that I'm not like no, a fucking my mom, psycho my who mom like used hated to do that soap. Too. Let me smell you. Why did I hate soap? And let me smell your breath too, like when she would tell us to go brush our teeth. Yeah. Let me smell your breath. Oh my god, right, go, this go, is go, so go. fucking funny. I think that's just like a big family, a kid. like a family thing though. Like, oh god. Because if you have one kid, you know when it's showering. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You should. You know, if your kid's in the shower, when you got three or four kids running around. Five in my wash yourself. You gotta wash yourself. I gotta go. I gotta. I gotta believe you at some point that you're washing your own butt. Yep. yep, But I don't know what it is about kids. Why do we hate showers? I don't know. Just, just, just hated cleanliness. When did you stop taking a bath? Uh, Haven't stopped. No, like for real. (laughs) Uh, Don't fuck with me on this. Well, fun fact: whenever I would feel sick, up until I was like 20 years old. I would take a bath and it would make me feel better. Jesus. Well, that was only when I felt sick. Oh. It wasn't like every I day. totally, I totally. Are you asking ADD when did I stop taking baths like every day? Yeah, like. Doo, oh, doo, I don't doo. even remember. There was never a time where I was like doing that every day. Okay. But I would take them like periodically of like, ha just going to chill. Yeah. But I don't have a bath. Uh, I do, but it's kind of gross. It's a little sketch. Uh, but. Sketchy bath. I'll go to my mom's house and take a bath there because she has a really nice bath. Yeah, like, she has like, like she has I'll jets take, and stuff in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take like an Epsom salt bath when my back's like sore or something. Love your house. Love everyone in it. A lot of soap in that fucking bathroom. Yeah, I don't know why there's so it's much an soap. Insane abundance of fucking a plethora of soaps. Yes, it's like a whole fucking aisle at Bed Bath and Beyond. Because it looks like it's almost impossible to get in that bath without knocking over soap. It is. And you know what moms always have. Good shampoo that you can't use. Yeah. It's like, don't touch this shampoo. I'm like, why is it in here then? Yeah, it's like coconut extract. And I'm like, how about just soap? Holds color. I'm like, mom. Give it up, ma. All right. You're going gray, ma. Just let it rock. Just let it go. Holds color, my fucking dirty ass. Yeah. I don't, those are always weird and they make your hair all hard. They would have like weird, like, what? Shampoos that would like uh, you make ever, your hair hard. Yeah, like a blue shampoo. Like when they would dye their hair, there's a shampoo that's blue, and it like makes your hair hard. I'm unfamiliar with this. Also, you know what's weird? Leave-in shampoo. You ever heard of that? No. There's shampoo that you could spray and you leave it in. All through all the day. Yeah, you, you spray a can and it's like. Bah. That's it. Yeah, and bitches be smelling right. Ew! I don't want to be doing that shit. Leave shampoo in my hair. I think after a while it settles. I don't think you just walk around all like a soapy bitch. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it sounds like there's a bunch of soapy bitches walking around with spray on shampoo. What the fuck? Leave in conditioner they have. Yo, conditioner is is cum. First of all, it's cum, right? Is there anything worse than washing your fucking hair with conditioner? Because I never feel like I get it out of my hair. That's that's what I'm saying. It's it's very cummy. It's, it's cummy. very cummy. It's cummy. Do you use? Sometimes I use it. And I'm one? like, ew, it's cum. Do you use two in one? No. Shampoo and conditioner? I use head and shoulders. 
sometimes I'll use that. But usually I have a conditioner and I have a shampoo. And whenever I use the, the conditioner, I'm like, ew. ew look at this. It's all gooky. It has the same, like, texture and, like. But it's hard, though. It's kind of like dog doo-doo. What? Like, no, shampoo is more like, like jizz. No, shampoo is like thick-ass syrup. You about to jizz bait me? What are you talking about? You want to debate about jizz with me? Yeah. All right. Give me your what, best you shot. What, you think I'm... I'm give me but your I, best shot. I know, you've, I know you've dabbled in jizz. I've definitely dabbled in jizz for over the years. <laughs> it's not your first rodeo. You're telling me. I think that, that shampoo sh- is you're telling actually me shampoo. more j- jizzable. You think shampoo yes. is more like jizz than conditioner? What are you, fucking stupid? Conditioner's kind of hard. Hard? Yeah. It's a liquid. How can it a be li- a solid? I know it's a liquid, but a poop is a, is a, is a liquid kind of. It's not a liquid. Okay. You solid poop. Yeah. They float. They're like submarines and shit. I understand that. But I understand that. I understand where you're coming from. Shampoo but you- is more thick. It's got. It's like molasses. It's like you could put it on a fucking pancake and eat that bitch. But... Fucking shampoo, uh, fucking conditioner. We're now we're entering the realm of jizz-like substances. Yeah. And then you put it in your hair, and then it never comes out. I've never gotten jizz in my hair, but I can only imagine it's the same. Yeah, it's like baby batter. So now, do I win this argument? I'll give it to you. Thank fucking you. But I'll I'll leave it to people in the con. I mean, you know, people can understand where I think where I'm coming from. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so. Your Honor, I don't think so. <laughs> Listen, what are you going to do? You went some, lose some, and sometimes. I'm trying to figure a good rebuttal here, but uh, I, I, <laughs> I don't have both on hand or in hand, actually. I don't have all you, three on hand. You want me to go get shampoo and, and, and a fucking conditioner right yeah, now? Yeah, if you have it. I Well, I should have. If con- you have it. I don't know if I have conditioner. I definitely have shampoo. If you have shampoo, I just want to do the, the, the index and thumb test. That's it. I, if I could tell if it's a, if it's a stretchable strand... It's closer to to baby baby batter baby butter, you know. That's why. You got both. Yeah. All right. You got some Dove. You got some Dove. Are they both? Are they both same prod? There's yes. Okay. Dove, uh, nourishing rituals. All right. I just want one piece on here. Yeah. Look. All right. Obviously, this one's more sticky. It's thicker. I said that. Dude, that's last... jizzy, dude. It's not jizzy. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that stretch! Look at the stretch! Forget the stretch, Danny. Do the Dude. Other, do the. I mean, now when you do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now you do it. You do it with that. Just look at this. Yeah. yeah look at that. It's pretty this juicy. Come yeah. on! You don't even know if I'm just in this or not. You're not even sure. And then we'll do some of this. See that's, See, that's lotiony. The viscosity is not the, the same. The viscosity on that is that not the same. That one's more. Yeah, I understand that. But the vis- look at this. The For viscosity God's on this is amazing. For God's sakes. The conditioner. Come on. The eye test? Yes. Oh, my God. There's so much shampoo on the table. The eye test? Yes. The viscosity? No. Absolutely not. Oh, man. I'm covered in shampoo now. Now, I wish it was leaving shampoo because I could put it in my hair. Actually, I might. You're going to put it in your hair? That wasn't jizz, was it? <laughs> Imagine. I jizzed in my own shampoo. Oh, yeah. Do you have any ads? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the sponsors here. Sponsors, uh, sponsors of the basement yard, baby. How tall does my head look when I do this? Oh my god! I look like that the kid, from, the black kid from Hey Arnold. Yeah, with Gerald. The hair. Gerald. Gerald. All right, here we go. Arnold, great room, dude. One of the best rooms of all time. Cool fucking room. He had a fucking like stash couch. What? Oh, that would like fold into the wall or whatever. Yeah. All right. Uh, first up. Oh, Danny is no stranger to this one. Uh, we have Dave.com. I owe Dave money right now. Do you? Yeah. Uh, if you're like me or Danny, uh, you're not always paying attention to your bank account balance, and the moment you see you're going to be overdrawn, it is too late, so you end up spending $37 on a cup of coffee or something like that. Yep. Don't want to be in the red. No, you don't. Not exactly the place you want to be. Dave keeps me out the red every month. Um, Dave is the number one budgeting app in America because it saves you from overdraft fees, uh, tells you about upcoming bills, and can advance you $75 from your next paycheck with no credit and no interest, which is a big one. Which is big for me. Right. So basically, if you're in the red or you're close to being there and you're like, I can't really spend $25 right now. You were looking at me because you know my bank account so well, don't you? I don't know your bank account so well. 
Oh, no, your paychecks. Uh, <laughs> so, so uh, uh, yeah, but if you're if you're close to being, like, if you make this purchase, you're going to be like, oh, my God, I'm going to get some overdraft fees. You can get up to $75 um, from Dave.com. Yeah, you right? don't want to get embarrassed, go out to a club, spend a little money, maybe a little bit too much. Maybe you need a little more dough to get out of there. Dave will hook you up. Three million people already use Dave to save up to one thousand dollars a year in overdraft fees that's why it's the number one budgeting app in the app store uh you can go to dave.com slash basement it really helps the show if you let them know you've heard you heard of them here yes um so go do that uh then download dave and never pay another overdraft fee ever again it's immediate savings you can go now dave.com slash basement uh it's spelled just like how it sounds d-a-v-e dot com slash a basement worth every penny worth every penny oh i get it kind of a pun kind of a pun kind of a pun kind of a pun i'm working on my puns <sighs> trying to be pungent with my puns i'm gonna throw up Whip. um our next sponsor is mvmt you know mvmt watches they're always on this show you know hell yeah really nice watches i actually wore them the other day when we went out to dinner i had a nice silver with the blue very beautiful burp coming i think <sighs> Yep, air just left my throat. That's just what happened. It's so weird. It is very strange. I'm sorry. Movement watches start at just $95. Anywhere else for the same quality, you're looking at 400 bucks or something. Like watches are expensive, um, but they have really nice watches. And again, they only start at $95. Um, they've sold about 2 million watches in over 160 countries. A lot of watches, even more countries. A lot of countries. Right. Actually, more watches than countries, but... A lot of countries. Right, we're, we're not good at math. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I have a couple of MVMT watches. They're really nice. You guys can go check them out. Um, and you can get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash basement. Um, they're launching new styles on their site all the time. So you can just go check out their latest ones. Again, it's MVMT.com slash basement. Uh, join the movement. Yeah, man. Everyone. Okay. So if you got a birthday coming up or whatever. Summertime, big wedding season coming up. Graduations and shit. Yeah, I don't know about that because I wasn't graduating I mean, much, I, but I, I get it. The, someone is graduating. Yeah, though. I'll go to one. I mean, I graduated once like 10 years ago. So yeah, there's that. What right? a nice watch. Or get someone else a watch. You know what I'm saying? MVMT.com slash basement. Um, anyway, uh, something I wanted to talk to you about. Yes. And debate. Father's Day. You want me to be your dad? That was a good guess, but no, I don't. Can you do me a favor and flip that because it's kind of freaking me out? Oh, there's a monitor. Oh, he's going to turn this down. Are you going to flip it? Okay, boom. And we're good. All right, anyway. Ew. We're not editing anything out. This is raw, bitch. It's, it's raw. Raw dog in the show, huh? It's so raw. I hope that my... <laughs> It's so raw. It's so raw for you. Uh, uh, so anyway, yes. the thing I wanted to talk to you about. Okay. So Justin Bieber called out Tom Cruise on Twitter. He was like, yo, Scud, uh, I want to fight you in the octagon. Uh, if you don't accept, then you're, then you're scared for life. Dana White set it up. Right. I saw that. Now, is this premise prefaced by anything? No, it's just like a shot in the dark. You know what I'm saying? He was just like chilling and then one day he saw tom cruise and was like i want to fight tom cruise first yeah. of all tom cruise will wash that ass yeah i'm gonna go tom cruise in that fight as well because he's a crazy person yeah he's an actual maniac i believe he has like slaves like human, probably human slaves yeah. in scientology. And he's a scientologist but he's like basically a a, a god in that community yeah. um He's also like 5'5". Five, five. I'm going to go out on the record and say I could beat the shit out of both of them at the same exact time. I don't know, man. Cruz might be tough. I would fucking kill Tom Cruise. Dude, he hangs on the side of planes. He does like all his own stunts. He's like 55, dude. That's great. I will punch him in the face and he will fall down. I don't know, man. You do know. Do no? know? <laughs> do no? know. <laughs> Maria Menounos. Maria Menounos. Shots, Maria Menounos. Horrible laugh, though. <laughs> Her laugh is horrid. Yeah, but she's very hot. Yeah, she's a very attractive woman. She's but a very back attractive, to attractive woman. people. Is Tom she watching? You think she's who, watching? Who's, who's more attractive, Justin B? Yeah, probably. Shout out, Maria. She's yeah. a Red Sox fan, though. So. Uh, get out of here. Yeah. Um, who's more attractive, Tom Cruise or Jay Beebs? Let's just knock down the whole tail of the tape. Fine. Tom Cruise versus Justin Bieber. In a fight, I'm going Tom Cruise because even though the guy is like 5'5", five, five, he's, he's a very small man. He's a thicker man. And he's been on the roids. He's got some gear in those 
bloodstream. You oh, know yeah. You know, you're not 55 doing your own fucking stunts, hanging on the side of fucking planes if you're not all hopped up on juice. That's what I'm saying. He was Jack Reacher, so he also has some kind of, like, fighting background. Yeah. He has to. He's learned how to fight and use guns in movies. Like, they bring in real people to train you. Yeah, Justin you know? Bieber has learned how to, like, moonwalk and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He, like, like, took, like, jiu-jitsu, like, five times. Yeah, and, like, line dance. Yeah. Like, he's not really, like... You know, the only thing he has is his age. He's younger, so probably more agile. Yeah. Probably could take a little more of a punch, but believe there's going to be a bunch of punches. Yeah. Who's better looking, though? In their primes or like today? Today. I don't know. It depends what Justin Bieber's doing with his hair. Yeah, I know. His Sometimes he grows that bitch look. out. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you look like a homeless surfer. And then also his beard is terrible. Yeah, he, it's not sick. It's not sick. It's not sick. It's not sick. And he's got a lot of tattoos that also not sick. Yeah. I think Tom Cruise washes him, dude. Yeah, I think he beats the shit out of him. Yeah. Like, he wants no part of that crazy fuck. Like, Tom Cruise will train for that shit. Yeah, he Tom will. Tom Cruise will run up fucking Mount Everest. With three people on his back yeah. and like do that creepy laugh that he does just to come down and whip Justin Bieber's ass. Yeah. I and think I he want does. Bieber to win. Oh he's, man, I he's love our, Bieber. He's our, he's our generation. I, I love Bieber. I love the Bieber. I want him to win. I'm a big Bieber guy. I would be rooting for him so hard. Me but too. The Vegas in me says take TC. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'd probably bet on Biebs because I feel like I'd be getting good odds. No, I don't think you would. Really? You yeah. think people would be betting on the Beeb? I think people would be betting on Beebs. I don't think he's betting on the Beeb. I'm betting on TC all the way. I mean, I, the only reason why I wouldn't, if he was like minus 180, I'd be like, whoa. I'm going to ride with TC. Really? You're going to lay that? 180? Yeah. Minus 180? Fuck yeah. Throw 500 on that. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, go crazy on him. Fucking. But, oh, you know I go crazy. No, I know. But if, if I'm getting plus money with Beebs. Yeah. Take a chance. Hopefully, he's been like training. Like, you know what it is, though. Like, when's he's... the last time you want to bet? <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's be honest. When's the last time I made a bet? Is the real question. Did I win the last bet that I took? No, I know uh, for a fact it's a no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. It's not because I. Yeah. I, I owe somebody money. <laughs> um. It's no. Me. No. But uh. Where the fuck was I going with that? Oh, Justin Bieber. You would take him if he was plus money. If he was plus money, I'm taking him. Here's the thing. Do you go to the fight? Fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Whip. Because you know that's not going to be in Vegas. No one gives a shit that much. No, they'll, probably do, they'll be in do like, it in like Atlantic City you know, or some shit. Or it'll be like in like South Vermont Carolina, or yeah. like some random like Wyoming. Come out to Jackson Hole. I don't think Vegas would sanction that. No, fuck that. I would go. I would treat it like it was a Floyd Mayweather fight. Yeah, man. I get real dressed up. I go crazy. I would dress like the Kentucky Derby and show up and be like, "Yo, what's good?" Like I already know. Like, wait, hold on. Here's the thing, right? What are they fighting at? Are they just gonna fight at their weight? Because there's no way in they're in the same weight class. Oh, well, how much do you think Tom Cruise weighs? One fifty. Fuck it. One fifty. One forty. He's a thick boy, bro. All right, look it up. See how much he weighs. You can Google that. Yeah, you could Google celebrities' weights. But I feel like hey, the, it's gonna be ballpark. But you're gonna tell me Justin Bieber weighs more than 160 pounds? No fucking way. Maybe 170. How do I Google that? All right, Justin Bieber height and weight. Weight. Do height and weight. I know his height. How tall is he? I don't know his height. I'm saying <laughs> he, he's got to be five foot nine. No, nah, I think he's shorter. No, he is. He's he's listed at five nine. He's five eight. Yeah, so he's five um, eight. I'm and five he's ten. 145 pounds. Okay. Which means I would destroy Justin Bieber. Uh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, height, coming in at 5'7". He's 5'6". Yeah. Weight. Whoa. It what says 148 pounds. All right. But a pure steel. Kind of. Actually, this is not the best picture of Cruise. Let me see Cruise. Damn, that's a horrible picture, bro. When is that? I mean, it's not 20 years ago. <laughs> it's not 20 years ago. I mean, he's a thick boy. That's All right, what I'm so, saying. so so do yo Tom Cruise is five six. There's no way he's got to be five four. Dude, how is how is he like an action hero at five six? He's a tiny man. He kicks a lot of ass. Do you think he wears like elevator shoes? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. To look taller. Yeah. Like just, he, I mean. Just like uh, in movies, they do that just to set optical illusions and shit. So, all right, let's go. Who do you think is hotter? Not today. Obviously, it's Bieber. I think Tom Cruise in his prime was a fucking very good-looking guy. He's a good-looking guy. Jerry Maguire, uh, uh, 
Top uh, Gun. Top, Top Gun. Top Gun. Uh, Risky Business. But also Bieber when he was like, nah. No, because Bieber had all, like, all the gross like, DUI pictures. He looks like Ellen DeGeneres. I don't think he looks like Ellen DeGeneres. He looks like if if, uh, if Kate McKinnon and Ellen DeGeneres had a baby, it'd be Justin Bieber. Oh, God, I want to say you're wrong, but you're right. He had a good he had a good run though. Yeah, for sure. I, I like, still think he's an attractive kid, but like he's really trying not to be though. It looks yeah, like. I know. But you like, know? think about Leo. But he's trying though. to like find himself. He's doing a bunch of religious stuff and going to church. Yeah, like, good for him. I don't know some stuff like that. But think about Leonardo DiCaprio. Not the best looking guy. But in the but, beginning, but Titanic, Titanic, Leo? Titanic, Leo. My God, take my body. I'm ready. That's what I'm saying. Never really brought much to the table in terms of like being like, oh my God. Yeah, you know, you know the, the problem is fucking lusted over him. The beach, dude. The beach was a good one. He's got a fucking puka shell necklace. Guy is like having sex with like really hot tan women. I'm like, this guy's getting it. What is better than that? We're living on an island. Honestly, puka shell necklaces. If you wore those in the '90s, you were getting some pussy. Like, hey, fuck yeah. At yeah, least like, fingering. Oh, you were fingering without like by accident, yeah. walking down the street just with your hands. Whoa, and yeah. you're just, it's insane. That's just kind of, whoa, what was that? Just like doubling up, you know? Oh, did you go three fingers? No, two. What do you think? I'm a sick freak? Oh, I don't know. I was going to say, you might want to warm up to that before Tell you start punching. Tell me to stop. How many? For me? Wait, you're go- Wait have hold you done? on. Have you done? Oh, 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 no, I haven't. Well, I don't know. Have you ducked? Oh, I've never ducked. I've never ducked. Ducking is very intense. That's crazy. Ducking is, you know. Getting all the way in there with a duck. All five fingers. Yeah. Uh, you can't go this way. You got to duck your way in there. Yeah, but I've no, I've never fisted somebody. Yeah. If that's what you're asking yeah. me, continue to plunge. I hope my mom's not watching. I don't. Really Actually, care. I hope she is. Mom, I've never fisted anyone. You're proud of me, please. Yes. Um, I'm gonna take Tom Cruise in the looks department. He's done it over a longer period of time. Yeah, I, I think, think he's a hotter man. He's more my type. Justin he's Bieber's a, I, too pretty. Yeah, he's too pretty for me. I think he's more of a man's man, Tom Cruise. Yeah, but he's a fucking maniac. Yeah. That's why I think Who would I want to be friends with? Justin Bieber Yeah, I'd much rather be friends with Bieber Definitely don't want to be, uh, you know, friends with Tom Cruise I feel no. like he has like a foot slave and shit Yeah, and he'll be like, uh, no, it's cool, it's cool I'll be like, it's, it's not though Yeah, it's you not You know what, he's great in Tropic Thunder Yeah, he when is he plays like the fat the guy, guy, like yeah. going crazy I feel like that's how he is around his house mm-hmm. He's like, oh, fucking ass rape you Yeah Like he's nuts yeah, I really think that's that's him as well. Yeah, I don't think Bieber can get to that level of crazy. I don't think he can. Me neither. I feel like he's got to pack it in at some point. Yeah, he'll Tom, be like, enough. This is enough. This Tom is Cruise r- was relentless, jumping on a couch on Oprah's show for God's sakes. Like, yeah, you don't do that if you're not like, you know, Katie Holmes, hot or not. See, I'm gonna say not, but I'm gonna say she's pretty. Katie Holmes. Yeah. All right. She is pretty. Yeah. There's different things. You there's can be cute, pretty hot. There's cute, there's pretty, and there's hot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So pretty is just like, look at this elegant woman. Like Rachel McAdams. She's a very pretty woman. Yes. Yes. Some would say beautiful. Right. You know? And I mean, I would say that. Yeah. She's a very beautiful I woman. I think so. I'd do it. But like, like Jennifer Lopez is like hot. Hot, dude. Yeah. Like, just like a sexy fucking... Caliente. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. That's a that's a, a pretty woman. Yeah. You know? Which isn't yeah. which isn't bad. Yeah. Ariana Grande. Cute. Yes. She's very small. I don't look at her and go like, oh my God, what a knockout. Yeah, right? I you just know? go like, she's a very attractive girl. I'm like, girl. oh, you were like the cute girl in like my my ninth grade bi- biology class. Exactly. And there's nothing wrong with the cute girl. No, everyone they're likes, the everyone best. likes the cute girl. I, I prefer them. I like the cute girl. Yes. But sometimes you need a sexy fuck. Yeah, to get angry at you. <laughs> get, you all, get you all tied up in your emotions. Yeah. Turn your head over heels for them, you know? Just from the touch of that cooch. From the touch yeah. of that cooch. Yeah, you ever just fucking just like radiate? People radiate fucking hotness sometimes. Mm. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Chris Hemsworth. That's hot, a hot, guy. That's a hot guy. Hot guy. Liam Neeson. Not a hot guy. Not a but great some guy. Some people would say he's a good looking man. You know, I, I, feel, I feel like I'll look back on pictures of Liam Neeson when I'm like 60 and be like, that guy was hot. Like he's a hot, probably, how old is he? 
Like Daniel J. Lewis is a handsome man. He's a handsome man. But he's not a beautiful man. He's not you know, a beautiful Brad man. Brad Pitt's a beautiful man. Brad Pitt is beautiful. I mean, this new Brad Pitt's not me, but he's a beautiful man. Yeah, and he's that new sexy mo- man. In that new movie he's in, he's clean shaven. He's got like a like a nice haircut. He's fucking hot. Yeah. Glorious Bastards Brad Pitt was a fucking beautiful man. Yeah, man. He gets ugly just to let other people feel okay. When he does like the long hair stuff, I'm like... You're trying to even the field, but you're you can't even do it. Yeah, he just doesn't want to be recognized in public for being so fucking hot. It's annoying to have that much vagina yeah. thrown at your goddamn feet. Like early two thousands, McConaughey, super hot. McConaughey when he was jacked and like riding longboards and shit. Now he McConaughey's like McConaughey's a hot guy. Yeah, man. but after Dallas Buyers Club, he looks a little. No, gaunty. here's the thing. When he won the Academy Award, All right. he had put some weight on, and he looked fucking smoky up there, dude. I'm chasing myself. His speech was a little weird. I mean, he's a you know like a philosophical redneck guy. Yeah, he's like my, my idol is me in ten years. Do you know? <laughs> do you know his brother? Yeah. He named his son Miller Light. That's which is amazing. I mean, I'm a big fan of that. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. That's but a, he did spell Light L Y T E to make it like you know. What like a screen name? Yeah, it's probably no season uh, season desist type things going on. You can't season desist a child. <laughs> Stop that child! <laughs> you can't do that. If you named your son like a Walmart, can they sue you? No, they can't. Right? No, I think you can name your kid whatever the fuck you want. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Would you ever consider naming your kid? <laughs> nah. Would you ever consider naming your kid? Like, let's say you named your kid uh, Danny. Yeah. Right? Uh-huh. Do you want to do that, by the way? Um, no, nah, I've done it already. <laughs> I've been I've been a Danny. I, did. I, I don't want my kids to be feel any, like, weird underlying shadow of their dad. Like I think I think a kid should have their own identity, their own name. You okay. know? All right. Be like cut from their own cloth. Do like, you know I'm I... named after my dad. Right. But like, you know, that's more of that generation's thing. I think uh-huh. the new generation doesn't like to name their kids after them. Okay. I don't know what the fridge fuck... agrees. Yeah. He's making noises over there. He's um, named after his father as well. As well. Uh do you know like a name you want to name your kid? I do. I don't want to say it on here. Damn it. Why? I don't know. I was curious. No, because my, I have a very weird... Um, Is it Versace? Yes. <laughs> it's Donatello or Donatella. It's a guy or a girl. No, I have a very weird thing about... Do you think there's a family out there that named all their kids after Ninja Turtles? Some asshole has, yes. Which is pretty cool and I want to meet him. Yeah, me too. But Probably have a pet rat named it fucking Master Splinter. <laughs> fucking rat. Um, <laughs> it's back. Um, you fucking rat! You dirty fucking rat! Back your mother's rat. a fucking dirty fucking rat! Every time I see that rat, I want to go back. You fucking rat! Your father's a fucking rat. I wish I could kill him with a little fucking. I put rat poison on a fucking on a stoop. He come around. He fucking easy. He's dead. Your father. I, I see him every time at the store. I say, look at you, look at you. Where you shopping for rat food? You talk, you fucking rat. Put a trap down, trap your dad, trap the rat. Guess what? You trap everybody in that whole family. They're all fucking rat. Tuh. Tuh. Sorry about that. I'm no, sorry, sorry you guys had to see that. What happened? What day is it? I don't know. What Where t- am I? What year is it? What year is it? Jumanji, when Robin Williams comes out of that. Yeah. What, a what year is it, Marty? I'm going to be late for class now. Yeah. Um, the thing I have about kids... Is that I'm afraid to talk about them sometimes, my future children. Because? Because, like, I feel like, you know how people are like, yo, don't tell anybody we're pregnant until four months? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to tell anybody we're pregnant until, like, the baby is born. You're, I'm you so, can't. like, superstitious. I'm going to be like, just hide. Like, wear cloaks. Why? Because I don't know. I just feel like. I want it to be so like... So you're not doing like a gender reveal of like... No, 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 no. I have no, a no. podcast, so uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. going to talk, and then this thing's going to shoot out blue or pink. Yeah, no, nah, n- definitely not going to do that. I-, I have like, I don't know, I have weird like, not insecurities, but weird like fears about kids. I just want my kids to be okay. I don't want them to inherit like anything for me, really. Except for like the good stuff, which everyone should feel like. Like the smooth ass that you have? Like my smooth ass. You know what I mean? It's just like... I feel like the whole realm of like get having kids, it's like 
you get into this zone where you have to be super responsible, insanely responsible. And it's like, you know, I feel like a lot of parents wing it, though. Yeah, everyone's winging it. Everyone's winging it. But everyone thinks they have the answers to do these things. I'm just like, I don't want to be one of those parents that's like plans all these things for their kid before it's like born. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, I'd just be like, all right, so, like, we're going to do this, and, like, little fucking jo- Joby Jump Jums is going to do that, and little Tommy Tom Toms is going to do that. And, like, I feel scared of kids, to be honest, to have my own. Why? Because I just feel like it's a responsibility at one point in my life I'm going to have. I know I'm going to be great at it. I'm going to be a great father. I know that already. I mean, you know, we'll... We'll judge it when it comes. It's up, but, in the air. it's up in the air. We'll but, go forward. But, you know, it's like I just want to be able to do the best that I can for my kids. Yeah. And not have to, you know, kind of not not go through what I went through growing up. But, like, I was a fucking wild kid. You okay. know what I'm saying? I don't want my kid to inherit that side of me. They're kids, bro. They're all wild. Yeah, but I was nuts. And so were you. You know that it, we were different. You know we were different when we were kids. Yeah, but I don't think I was a... It's not... We were not bad people. It's I don't just care. Like, I don't want to go to the thing and be like, hey, man, Danny Lopriori the third threw a fucking trash can through the window just like his dad. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want him to have all that shit. Yeah, but that's not hereditary. I would say so. Throwing a trash can. No, no, no. I would say children's demeanor is going to be hereditary. For yeah, sure. if you're a bad father. Yeah. But also, like, things like depression can be hereditary and stuff like that. And, you know, when a kid's going like that, they could be acting out. So you're afraid you're going to give your kid depression? No, I'm not afraid. I just, I would hope that they don't have to go through that. Well, of course. I think every you know, parent helps it's, that. At some point, you know, everyone gets like that. But at some point, they're going to go through that. It's just like, you know, having a kid's fucking scary, man. Your whole life fucking changes. No, yeah, it's that's a, That's the thing. It's like, I, am I afraid to be a dad? No. My girlfriend's not even pregnant. I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> but, but, like, you know, it's just like... Uh, once, he doesn't have a girlfriend. Once, Yeah, I have a fiancé. Uh, fiancé. Fiancé. Once she tells me, like, I'm pregnant, I'm going to feel mad weird. Yeah, that's going to be a day where I'm going to need to... We're going to need to go to a bar and I'm going to drink. Yeah, like, I'm going to talk. Ha- <laughs> I'm going to have to, like, walk around the block a couple times. Yeah. Like, I am afraid to have kids... Because that I, you fuck up with your pre-existing shit. Yes, I think that's every person's yeah. fear, though. I think that's every person's fear. But you can't, you can't live like that. You also won't. I feel like you know when they say like people when humans have like superhuman sh- strength when they're in positions where their kids like under a bus or no, like something like yeah, that. Or yeah, like, yeah. Like for instance, uh, two of my friends, not gonna say who, but they got into a quad accident once, like a really bad one, and yeah. they they could have died. Like they really, my buddy got into one too. It's a funny story. I'm going to tell you. And my friend who was driving, uh, he's a strong kid, but he's not, you know, insanely strong. Yeah. Yeah. And the quad was on top of one of my other friends. And my other friend who was on the ground said, yo, he walked over and just fucking threw this thing off of me. Yeah. He's like, I've never seen it like shit like this before. Like it was crazy. They ended up being okay. They had like, Right, injuries, minor injuries, and shit. but yeah. they were like fucked up. But I think about being a parent, where it's like you're so scared until it's like this baby comes out, and you're like, I have no more, I have no choice, but now I have to just do this. Yeah, and then you figure it out. I'm afraid of that though. Like every time it like will cough, I'll be like, oh, it's choking, or like you know, like oh, like like being like seeing my baby sick is gonna hurt me so much. Like I'm gonna be so like emotionally like attached to it. I don't know. It's gonna fuck me up. I think yeah. shit are just like on mad different levels. I feel that'll like. that'll go away once it keeps you up every day till yeah, five. Yeah, like, like oh, fuck you, fuck this thing. I'm gonna start burping you after the fifth cough. I'm gonna start crying right next. Like, yeah. yeah, you fucking like it. You know, <laughs> I, I, but how do you, you are, like when you have a kid? Are you gonna be like, all right, let's do this? Some people are yeah. like that. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not honestly. I'm not worried about it. And it's not because I'm prepared. Because I'm fucking not. Yeah, but yeah, I, yeah. I don't think I'll ever be. It's one of those things. I don't think I'll ever be. It's like you just might, do it. You're going to be, we're all forced to be. If, I, if I'm being completely honest with you. Two guys with right? no kids. Yeah. If I'm being completely honest with you, I feel like I'm never going to be ready to have a kid. Yeah. Like, because I think it's such a huge responsibility and something that you just have to do. I think the payoff is definitely worth it. But when you really think about it for so long, 
I feel like I could talk myself out of it for, for like ever. Yeah. And if it wasn't because of, you know, age and what that does to the human body, or even just being what a seventy year old man with like a kid, right, would be weird. You yeah. know, be uh, fire though. Whatever, it's your kid. Which, uh, if that wasn't the case, then I would. It may like. Could you live a f- perfectly full life without having kids? Would you like say you go your whole life, you're on your deathbed, and like Keith's there, and you're just like you never had kids though, and you're like I'm going, and then you go. Would I regret that? Would you regret not having kids at that part of your life? Uh, I think I would. I think I would. I think a part. I think a part of you wants that circle of life kind of thing. Like you want to leave part of you here. When yeah, you I, I, I think that's the beauty of having. Kids. You know what it is? I want to. I want a shot at it to see what I can. It's yeah, the, it's, it's, it's almost it's, like the competitive nature. Of course, you'd be like, yeah, I want to fucking. I want to raise this kid. bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I want to kill it with this kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's crazy that people have more than one. And then more than two, the more than three. You know what really sucks when you're, your first kids are twins. That's trash. Yeah, financially and just lifely. No, but I think that uh, again, I think it's one of those things that if age wasn't like a thing, like I would wait until I was like forty probably. But no, I'm but not you, gonna do that. Yeah, but you could still fire off. It's just mostly girls that can't. Which well, is awful. I mean, you could fire. unless I'm like the hottest forty year old in the world. Yeah, like they're, like pull like I'm Terry George Cheetah. Clooney over here. <laughs> yeah. Which isn't going to fucking be- happen. Another beautiful man. Yeah, that's a beautiful man. Yeah, I don't uh, know, man. I, I think just the overall, it's like, I can't bring it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah. dude, this is for life. I mean, it's only 18 years. Nah, man. Not this fucking generation. Every, these kids are all staying home until they're like 27 <laughs> years old. That's true. You know? But at least when they're 18, you get a four-year break. That's true. At least tax-wise, you get a break for 18 years. That's true. You claim them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. At least get some money back. But I feel like me and you are gonna be kind of the same dads. It's just like you're gonna be a little more like he's fine. I'm gonna kind of be more like, uh-uh. yeah, you know. I think that I think you need a healthy balance of that, which I think I got from my parents because one of my parents were, uh, he's fine, and the other one were more concerned. Right. And I think that's just like good because when you have the parent that's like always concerned, not around. You kind of had to just figure it out. It's kind of like... But I'm not going to be one of those parents like, oh, we have to get him in fucking... Uh, in, in dance class. Like, I'm not going to, like, find, like, weird extra curri- like curricular activities because, like, for my kid, unless it's... Like, I want them to do what they want to do. Yeah. But with the level of, like, I'm still in charge here. What are we doing? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but you know what I mean, though? It's like, I don't want to be my kid's friend. Oh, man. What? Like, you know, it's like you want to be your kid's friend, so you, like, kind of let them do whatever they want, kind of. No, nah, I want to be friends with my, my kid. Yeah, but you got to be a dick a little. For no, my, yeah, my I mean, you got to be so. you got to be your dad, but. Yeah. The, you know, the guy who lives it, next door it? to my mom, like, he's, I hope I could be like that. Oh, who we went to the Yankee game with? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a great, great dude, and, like, his kid is amazing. Yeah. His kid, like, you can have a full-blown conversation about sports with him. Yeah. Like, anything, and, and. I mean, now he, I think he's 14 now, but he's like an engaging like kid though. Like, he's yeah. Not just and he's like a, a good yeah. athlete and he's very smart and yeah. he's not a bad kid. Like he doesn't fucking, you know, I've never even really heard him curse to be honest with you. Yeah. And like his dad uh, is awesome. His dad's really cool and like down to earth and uh, both his parents, not just his dad, but both his parents are just great. Like there's just great parents. And, like, that's what I hope. I could be because I know he's you hope like you get lucky. A he's part like of cool. Get lucky. He's like cool with his kid though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's not like a that's his man. It's not a power thing. It's yeah. more of like, dude. It's not like a jostling, jostling for position daily type thing. Right. It's yeah. more of just like a very friendly sort of. Uh, I don't know. Rapport. Yeah, yeah, but but it's you know because he doesn't talk back to his dad. Right. And but his dad doesn't have to enforce that. Let me ask you this. You are eating dinner, you, your wife, or girlfriend, fiance, whoever, and your kid, whatever your marital status is at the time. Okay. And he calls your significant other a bitch. Mm-hmm. Where are we going from there? Probably the hospital. Right. <laughs> Probably going to have to beat that shit out of him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I might do the, the shoulder and the throat, maybe. Yeah, we're not ready to be dads. I like... <laughs> I like to think that... Uh, go, go to your fucking room, but Jackson. Here's, here's the thing, right? 
I some weird ass name. Like. Here's the thing, it's a do- it's it's a weird situation because like you, the situation you just painted, right, where your kid calls your wife a bitch. Yeah. At the dinner table or something, right there, right. So, my immediate reaction when you said that is like, I'm gonna kill this kid. Right. Because right? yeah. you don't say that to women, let alone your fucking mother. Yeah. You know. And my wife. Right. So you don't you don't say that, but also that is your fault, in a way. Yeah. Because you didn't raise your kid well enough to know that those are like two cardinal sins in the world that you don't call women bitches in that manner if they like it and you like there's a situation. Yeah, she like, says call me fucking call, bitch. Call me a bitch. Then no, I'm, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Call me a dirty bitch. Uh, so but in that in that manner, you don't say that. Yeah. You know, so it's your fault that you didn't like you know growing up. I would never say that to my mom. Like, even if I was extremely mad at her, like, those words would never come out of my mouth. Not not because I was afraid of getting in trouble, but just because I'm like... She sucked that ass, though. Yeah, my mom would beat the shit out of me, <laughs> Yeah, dude. she'd kick that ass. But I'll fuck her up today, though. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, <laughs> fuck, I'll fuck my mom up. She no, knows. But I would, I would, I would, I, I never would say that to my mom, not because I was afraid of getting in trouble, but more, co- more so because you know, like, that's my mom. You, yeah, know, you don't say that. So do, if, yeah. if your kid is cursing out your wife, like... Something along the line was your fault. Yeah. You know, whether it be too much like tough love and not understanding your child or like whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like, it's your fault. Like your kid is a reflection of you at the end of the day. Like I blame most things on people's parents. So like, do you think like cursing in front of your kid is going to cause them to curse? Like, no. if, if like I'm watching the giant game, right? And my kids, there, I don't. Like, God, motherfucker. I don't. But if he sees me call fucking Jin. Jeanette from up the street, a fucking bitch. See, stuff like that is different. He though. might, he might start calling these women bitches. Don't they? Right, like, but but it's it's still it's still just like parenting on top of that because, like I said, the, the guy that I'm talking about, he curses in front of his kid. Yeah, right. Not in like an insanely like disgusting way, but no. there are curse words thrown around. I curse in front of his kid. Right. I mean, he's fucking 14 now, so who yeah, gives please. a shit? But like, he probably watches like The Walking Dead and shit. Yeah, like you know, whatever. Fucking Game of Thrones. They're showing penises and shit. Yeah. I was uh, watching The Sopranos when I was like nine. <laughs> no, but so his kid doesn't do that though, and I don't know if he does with his friends or whatnot, but he probably does. But he wouldn't do it in front of his dad, just like I wouldn't. I mean, there's a time and a place to curse, and it's not around mom and dad. Right, especially when you're that age. My dad to this age, to this day, gets mad if I like, if I say like "fuck." Yeah, he'll be like, "Like really? Like, do we have to do that?" Every time my dad curses, he apologizes to me immediately after. Yeah, and I'm like, "Dude, to me, you know." And and growing up in my house, I could never curse. And if I ever farted in front of my mom and my sister, or if I ever cursed in front of my mom and my sister, but well, you said you used to fart on your sister all the time. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying, if I ever did any of that, if I farted in front of them. In front of them, he would get so mad because yeah. they're women. You don't do that. You yeah. know that was the kind of the thing that he preached. So I couldn't even I couldn't curse in my house and whatever. And look how I turned out. Like I mean, yeah, you suck, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm fuck. No, but I'm saying like I I curse and shit. <laughs> you <laughs> you, know? you like, do. So I don't think it has anything to do with like if your parents curse. It's about if your parents essentially when you're younger can do whatever the fuck they want yeah. as long as they kind of. Bring, has bring, to bring them be along. Some, like, bring them along. There has to be some sort of mutual respect there and like understanding of what it is and, yeah you know whatever but i don't know what the fuck we're talking about now jesus christ what happened you want to know what it is i think a reason i feel that way is because i'm engaged now and then i'm gonna get married and then like the next step is is babies yeah bro little baby boys baby girls i'm gonna buy so many christmas gifts oh yeah just fucking pull up my baby's gonna be fresh a little fuck yeah i know Yo, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, all Danny's spending habits are gonna just be on his kid now. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll never let my kid not be fresh though. Like ever, no, never, never, ever. I paid uh, nine thousand dollars for this jacket. No, not nothing crazy, but so like, like, whoa, what kind of jacket is it? It's for my, it's for my child actually. It's two inches of denim. You know what's weird? It's like how people buy nice clothes for babies, and then in a week later, they don't fit the clothes. Just put it in the T-shirt from TJ Maxx. Yeah, man. Like, don't don't kill yourself out here trying to get all these amazing things. Let him get to a size. That baby's gonna grow. Yeah. We were babies once. That's fire. <laughs> Still a baby. Still big, a baby. Big old baby. Big old baby. Yeah. Can't wait to have my son. Real quick though, before <laughs> before we talk about this, kind of related to babies, not really. Periods. Mm. The absence of babies. The, the yeah, I guess so. Yes. Um, Keith 
actually screenshot this and sent it to me, but apparently <laughs> women are vacuuming their vaginas to stop their periods in the UK. Okay, give me they're, a sec. Give me a second. They're taking a vacuum. Are they putting it up their cooch nooch? I'm assuming so. Wow. They're like putting a vacuum up that baby hatch and then sucking. Which I don't know why that would stop your period. I feel like if anything, that would make it come sooner. Like suck that period out. Come out and play. I'm really trying to gra- like grasp the physics of this. I honestly like now I'm gonna have to go to the fucking. Like, are they laying down and getting sucked, or are they are they spread eagle like standing on it and like straddling it and getting pop sucked? Oh my god! But they risk severe injuries. Oh, yeah, because you're shoving a vacuum up your vaginas. Vacuuming their vaginas in the hope that it will speed up the course of nature. So exactly what I said. Wait, so it, it means that the period is shorter, or it means that the period is not like existent. Oh, to shorter. One nurse in the U.S. has taken to Twitter to warn women to stop using your vacuum hose to end the period early. Fuck, that's one that's. In- Insanely insanitary and also disgusting. Yeah. Just have your period. Rock out. She wrote, you're going to wind up sucking out a lot more than blood. Ew, Ew, dude. What else are you sucking out, man? Probably like your serve. Suck out the serve? Yeah. Mm, Can't have that. You need that serve. Never even touched it. There were two cases of this so far this week and both women had to be admitted. So people are, are sucking that fucking... I think they should be admitted for being crazy. Dude, that too. They are sucking that pouch out. Imagine going to the fucking hospital being like, oh, what happened? to be like, I vacuum, I vacuum my clit. I vacuum this fucking vagina. <laughs> it's insane, dude. Um, you can get vaginal laceration, damage to the cervix, and life-threatening infection yeah, from the germs on the hose. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, bro. Shit is unsanitary, and you're fucking with that serve. Don't do that. A vacuum increases that flow of over a thousand times, which your body can't tolerate, therefore sending you into shock. Yeah, you probably have fucking septic shock. Dude, what kind of fucking moron thinks like, oh, I just want this to be over, and then just like suck it all out? And You're not afraid of like what this, what else is in your vagina? Listen, like I said, I said this on a previous episode, vaginas are like the ocean. We know like 10% of what's going on in there. Mm. And then the rest we kind of will figure out along the way. Yeah. But you, we can't, so you can't just like stick a fucking hose in that shit. We don't know what what you what you're like. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I, they I they, they dropped wanna... a bomb in the in the East River and Godzilla popped up. You remember that in that movie? Yeah. You never know. You put stick a, a, a fucking hose in that puss. Who knows what pops out? Yeah, dude. You seen Chernobyl? Shit can get crazy. You know what I'm saying? Don't pick up that shit because it melts your hand. Yeah. You're going to have a radioactive snoo snoo. That's what, yo. And then you could kill a bunch of motherfuckers. Did you ever that. see that movie Teeth? No, but I heard about it. Yeah. Pussy hat with teeth. Yeah, vagina with teeth. Damn, imagine that. Yeah. Can you imagine you're about, you feel like you're about to have sex and you're like, oh my God, this is going to be great. And you get in there and then chomp. Yeah. Chomps that penis off. That's a worse nightmare. Yeah, I mean, not much will come off, but I hear you. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you on that. But. With the thing with the hose in the, in the snoo, uh, it's weird that it's... I hate when, like, things that are so dumb, obviously dumb. Yeah, don't... Obviously not safe, but they be, actually become trends. Don't vacuum your vaga. Yeah, please. Anyone listening here, keep your vacuums away from your, your little baby hatch. Just vacuum the rug, keep it away from your puss, and God bless America. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right? Oh, God. Anyway. I love babies. What was that? I don't know. I I don't don't want people to get the wrong idea that I don't like babies. I love babies. Oh, matter of fact, we said something on the show about how we said babies aren't cute until, like, two. Yeah, yeah. A friend of mine's wife got very upset. (laughs) Really? Very upset. Why? Uh, Because she was like, you came to my house. You held my baby. Yeah. And you said that was a cute baby. Mm-hmm. And now I got to hear that you're saying that babies aren't cute until they're two. You lied about my baby. Did you go fuck yeah, I did? No. The baby's <laughs> cute. The baby's cute 
I apologize. I love their baby. I was saying most babies. We're talking about babies per capita. Yeah, yeah. You could sprinkle a cute baby in there, and your baby's a, a, a cute sprinkle. That baby's cute. I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record. One, like any newborn baby. <laughs> Let's just give it a sec. Yeah. Let's just give it a sec. The little hat's cute, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, listen, it's like a batch of cookies, right? <laughs> Let them sit. When you, when you take them out of the oven, <laughs> you can't just eat them. Let them sit for a little, bit, just a little while. And then, and then they're great. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. when a baby comes right out of that fucking puss oven, <laughs> just let, it, let its head like form to like how it's going to be yeah. at first, yeah. you know? Soft spots are so weird. They're like they? purple. Yeah. So like... It's like cookies. First, Love cookies. <laughs> Love cookies. Just not immediately. And the first baby picture I got to get, he's got to be wearing one of those little hats. Definitely put a beanie on that bitch. Baby in a hat, scratch guard mit, mit, uh, mittens. Oh, that's cool. I like that. What can you ask for? Yeah. I just, what more? I don't want a purple baby pig. I don't want a purple and baby And also, pig. I don't want to see like the person half a dead sleep kind of from like giving birth, you know? They're like, yeah. And they're holding the baby, and they're really happy. But it's like, you're not looking great. Just had a baby. Yeah. Let's clean it up. Don't Let's don't take it. A, don't take a picture of your baby like fresh out the womb with some debris on it, like that fucking dinosaur in Jurassic Park, where the old <laughs> white guy's like peeling off pieces of the egg. Yeah. Don't take those pictures. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, just yeah. wait till he's all cleaned up. Yeah, I don't want to see the baby like he just pulled it out of rubble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. wanted to just clean that baby up. Like it's been holding its breath for eight days. Yeah, clean that Come baby on. up. <laughs> uh, I'm a bad father. There's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Liar Liar is such a good movie. If anyone got that reference, leave uh, it in the comments. You are so accepted by me. I don't yeah. know what I'm going with that. <laughs> I do relate to people better when they know like movie comments like that. I movie think quotes. I like a part of me likes you so much because you get most of my references. Yeah, because I'm just but random no ones. One spews, like, like I spew random shit. Keith does too constantly. Yeah. So Joe, like if I if I spew something out here and just go, Joe just goes, ha! I'm like, yeah, yes, I like. He knows even, it. I like him even more now. Right. Yeah. Because there's small lines in movies or in shows that I enjoy so much. And if I find somebody else that went through that same process to enjoy it and recognize it that fast, I like that guy. I like people who know movie quotes. Yes. Like, that is my shit. Like, if, if I say it like, oh, man, get in the van. Yeah. But I say it in the tone that it's from the movie and someone goes, yo, fucking that thing. I'll be like, fuck with this guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I say it sometimes out in public just to see if I get a reaction from strangers. I'm a bad father. <laughs> That's a great one. He's a little bit Magoo. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, horse shit. Horse shit. The goddamn pen is blue. <laughs> goddamn pen is blue. You know I quote a lot? Uh a league of their own. Yeah, it's a great one. No, no, no. You know what that part is? <laughs> yeah. Dude, when he throws that dirt in that woman's face, that is one of the funniest scenes in television history. Madonna. Cin cinematic history. Madonna killing it in that. Oh my god, those fucking pointy nipples through that fucking. Uh... Oh yeah. Why did women wear bras that were triangles back then? I don't know. Are you crying? <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying? Who was that girl? There's no crying. Not Gina Davis. Because Gina. There's Davis... no crying in baseball. I mean, Gina Davis, I'll always remember. She was the good catcher, and she she had really small teeth. She did have small teeth. She had very small teeth. She had dog teeth. Who was her teacher? Her her sister. Oh, I don't know her name. She looked like Emilio Estevez, but a woman. <laughs> you know I'm right. No. They kind of had like the same facial structure, makeup. She did look like one of the cast of kind of Ellen Degeneracy. She's very degeneracy. Right? Yes. But she had red hair. What was her name? I don't. I'm not familiar. But all I know is you spo remember her, spoiler though. alert. She let her win. Uh, she scored yeah. at the end to win. So, did Pe Peaches Gina, lost. Did Gina Davis let her win? It's hard to say. It's hard to say. It was a very big hit at the plate. It was a very big play. I think she let her win. Maybe she did because she was so good. Yeah. 
all she wanted was to fuck her military husband. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's just kind of what it is. Yeah. Rosie was doing her thing in that in that movie as well. Sneak out. They you just know? want to sneak out and party. I love how they put just like a giant butch ugly bitch in there who hit dingers because like Oh, Rosie D hit bombs. No, not her. Oh. I'm talking about the other oh, one. Oh, the mute lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the <laughs> Like the derpy lady? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derpy lady hit bombs, dude. She was hitting fucking dangers. And then in that movie Life, remember the movie Life? Mm. Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. Oh, I forgot. You're not really black. What's up? You don't enjoy black cinema as much as I. That's not true. you never seen the movie Life? No, I've never seen Life, no. You have to see that movie. So I will see that. I did it to you. I forget you're not really black. <laughs> you forgot that? Look at me. You love black comedians. I love black comedians. That's what I'm saying. I love Eddie Murphy. I'm surprised. And you, Martin Lawrence. That's why I'm saying I'm surprised you haven't seen that movie. I mean, it's an old one, so. We quote bad boys all the time. Yeah, but that's bad boys. It's two black fucking gold stars. Haitians and fucking guns. Yeah, I love that movie. I would say the most movie, the movie I quote the most might be Billy Madison. Really? Yeah. This is the greatest night of my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite. The way Norm McDonald delivers that What is that she one. talking about? <laughs> that movie is a good one. What day is it? September? <laughs> <laughs> you want some of this milk? <laughs> I love that shit. No milk. Will we'll ever be, be our, our milk. milk. <laughs> Everybody on the bus. What about you, Sideburns? You want some of this milk? <laughs> You know what the shady the Remember funny when he used to make good movies? Adam Sandler, yeah. Uh, Yo, it was shady. One of the funniest parts of that movie is when the old Doyles are driving and they hit a, a banana peel on the road and the dad just goes <laughs> <laughs> and drives off a cliff. cliff. Oh, oh Doyle, God. one day I feel like your whole family's going down. Doyle rules. Oh, man. Good times. Anyway, me and Danny are going to head to the Yankee game. Let's go. Sports team. You know what I mean? So uh, we got to get out of here. Baseball but... hit now. So it's been it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. Uh, Danny, where can they find you? At Danny Priori on Instagram and Twitter. I, I... It's enough. Um, <laughs> you can uh, go follow the show at The Basement Yard. Go visit our website, thebasementyard.com. Uh, hit the contact the show button to send us an email of topics you want us to cover or whatnot. Uh, sometimes we dip into that to see what the people want to hear. Um, and yeah, that is all. See you guys next time. Oh, the Patreon. Go check out the Patreon to support the show. Head on to patreon.com slash the basement yard to support the show. <laughs> Danny might want to button up that shirt. And that is all. See you guys next time. Oh.